Hey, what's happening, everybody? How y'all feel, man? You tuned in to another great episode of the Male Translations Podcast. We're breaking down the difference of what men say and women hear, giving men a voice, giving women insight on relationships, the men's voice when it comes to relationships. I'm your host, Mr. Male Translations, Clarence Brown, Certified Life Coach, Relationship Coach, and I'm in here with my guy, PD, Pastor Dojas in the building. Pastor Dojas, let me know how you feel tonight, bro. I'm good, man. Good, good, man. Pumping, 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 pumping on another Tuesday. Yes, Chopping indeed. up, talking about this love, black love. Yes, indeed. All that good stuff. For sure, for sure. So we're going to hit y'all with a quick banger real quick. And um, tonight, we want I want to talk about something, right? You know, the topic is, should you change for a relationship? And I wanted to talk about that, especially tonight, because for, for something I seen the other day, man, you know, I'm always perusing through social media, finding different things to speak on. People always posting different content and whatnot. So I saw something the other day that kind of, uh, uh, had my wheels turning in and it, it basically showed a difference in how people view change when it comes to a man changing for a relationship or not changing. See people relationship that, changing, I get it. And, and um, basically how when a woman decides, hey, I don't, I'm not going to change for a man, how people view it. So I'm going to just get right into it. So this post I saw on Instagram, this is a page I follow, Relationship Boosters, right? So posted something, it was a Twitter uh, post from, from a young lady. Basically the post says, a man refuses to change for a woman, and he's con he's considered a a hole. He's considered weak. He's considered right. abusive, and not a man. Now, on the flip side to that, right? He's an a hole. He's weak. He's abusive. He's he a man. He ain't nothing. He a bust a scrub. But if it's a woman that say, "Hey, listen, I'm not changing for a man," she's considered strong. Strong woman. Keep your values. Don't settle. Self respecting, self loving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now you know me. I'm and anybody y'all watch the show long enough, you know I hate double standards. Right. Right. So I'm right. looking at this. I'm like, now, true indeed. When I when I seen the post, I, I saw some truth to it because when when it comes not, not being that I felt the same way, but the, the truth to it being that. A person, a man is viewed as a certain type of way. He's toxic and all of this. If he decide not to change, but on the flip side, a woman that decide not to change, she view I'm strong. Listen, I'm self reliant. I'm self loving, self care. You know, you name it. So I'm like, no, we gotta bring this across the table, bro. I, I need, to, I need to, you know, I need yeah. to hear what the Bible say. Yeah. I need some, yeah. some clarity, right? So yeah. you know, we like I said, we are gonna make this short and quick tonight. But at the same time, we are gonna give y'all give y'all some perspective because to me, I need to hear some. I got my own perspective. I need to hear how you feel, Pastor. Dojo. Right. So, do you think like when you hear that, a post like that or something like that, that well, number one is it true? To you, as far as how people view both sides, and no question, two, it's always standard. a double. I mean, come on, it's a double standard when it comes to men and women, especially how they value it. Um, uh, you've never heard of a man saying uh, a woman credit giving man a credit like, man, don't settle. You know, don't do that. You know, I mean, men only we can't even talk like that. So it's definitely a double standard. I definitely agree. I totally don't think it's okay. I don't think it's right. I don't think that. I told you I saw this post. I never forget it. I'm never gonna forget this. I saw it recently. It says, so a man credit, a man got to be financially stable for a woman that's broke. Fact. Right? Okay. And it's just the truth. So to, 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 to try to deny the fact that, hey, yes, that, hey, a woman now will be looked at like, hey, I can change. Uh, a man has to change for me because, you know, I'm the queen. And I don't have to change for him because I'm a woman. That's nuts to me. And my, I, I, my beef though is this: that for the most part, um, I think nowadays when I when I see women that are single, a lot of times they carry it like, "Hey, listen, I'll be single until the day I die, and I'm cool with that." Number one. Number two is that when it comes to making adjustments or changes or, or any, a lot of these, a lot of women think like. They're going to be the one to propose to the man. <laughs> right. Now, 90% right. of proposals happen from the man. Oh, what? Oh, so, yeah, in my yeah. mind, I'm saying, why is it so many women like, hey, listen, I'm not changing whatever, this and that. You he going to have to just set me before I end. Like, uh, but at the end of the day, he's going to have to decide what he's seeing you to, to be a wife or a life partner or however you want to call it, as opposed to you saying, okay, well, once he fit my criteria, then I'm going to propose to him. Once I see he's worth my time, yeah. my value, you know what I mean? Yeah, Energy. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So I'm, I'm, I'm like I said that when it comes to the topic of should you change for I finna I finna I finna fin fin get on the real limb I finna I finna step I finna step out on a real relational relational limb <laughs> um, I think ladies are especially post pandemic you are so much more forced to change the internet's making you forced to change now a man ain't even considering you without looking at your page 
You're forced now to put pictures out. You're you're forced to do stuff now that you didn't have. You used to be able to just say, I'm just going, he's going to cross my path. That used to be real cute. And I used to be anti-social media and social media right, relationships. Right. I used to be all that. But I'm looking up now saying, ladies, I don't know what you're going to do. You better put a little picture together. Thank you, cute. And t like, because what is he going to do? Now you got, I mean, I got a son. I got a generation of young guys, 26, 27, 30 years old, who's saying, hey, uh, what, what's your Instagram? They, they, they ain't asking you your phone number. Mm -hmm. They say, I know how you look now. Let me see how you might look. I'm, okay, your picture's cute. Like, like this, you forced to change. Facts, and it's crazy. And, guy, and guys ain't letting it ride no more. Right. I, I put this in on, it's like an activity I had in my online course. Y'all check that out. It's on Relationship Healing. Uh, dot co. I put it in the online course a part where it's like, hey, it's like uh, going fishing or uh, uh, what was it checking traffic or something. I can't remember the how I titled it, but the whole point was, hey, post something, see what kind of you know what I mean, see what kind of response you get from that. And I had uh, some older ladies that 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 did the online course. They like, well, why should we do this part? Like, why is this relevant? I'm like, for the same reason you said. Yeah. Because nowadays it's like, listen, a dude check you out. He don't want to see the pictures of your son and your nephew. And your two new nieces that you had took to the beach that one time, and that's your profile picture. Of, they like, nah, I want to see what you look like. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, even yeah. though to some it may be taboo, yeah, I feel like, hey, you got to put something out there to show, hey, listen, this is if I wore to wear my hair like this, I look like this. Yeah. That time when I had put some braids in, this is what I look like. Whatever the case is, because because again, yeah. you gotta, you have to adjust to the time. So I'm just saying. So for a woman, I hate to say it, men can be stubborn. Men can have a picture on there. That he was sitting in the car back in 2015 and they ain't gonna move. Mm -hmm. He had one one picture don't mean nothing, and it's understandable. But I'm telling you, ladies, it's changed. Is that the double standard too, though? Oh yeah, it's double standard. No different. On social media, it's definitely double standard. A man ain't never getting looked at for how many pictures he got and how cute he like. Cause a man can like a booger wolf, but it don't matter. Does he treat you good when you see him? What about his money? What about his hands? But I'm telling you, for a woman and I on social media, it's a given. Yeah. Matter of fact, all the top relationship sites, when it's talking about master blah, 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 they make you create a what? A profile. Because they, they don't care about how cute you sound. Back in the day when I was coming up, boy, she sound kind of fine on the phone, though. You know what I'm saying? Smoking on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, that's over. So I'm just saying, it, I hate the double standard, but you're true. I, mean, I just want to just say, yes, yeah. I hate it. But, you know, should you change the relationship? Absolutely. It's the craziest, that's the craziest thing I hear people sound like, man, Pastor, he's trying to change me. But that's the thing. Now, nowadays, if you change it for somebody too soon, if you make a move too soon, it's like, huh, what you doing? You, 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 you know, slow down. And and my thing is this. First, I, I ask myself, well, if yes, the question, the answer to the question of should you change is yes, then how long? How soon? Because yeah. if, if I mean, yeah. ask I'm gonna ask you this. How long should a man wait before he make changes for a woman? Because if a man make a change too soon. If you see Claire just jump off the porch and then next thing you know, I'm like, man, I don't know. I'm just I'm rain shopping right now. Yeah. I'm looking. You like rain shopping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I think there's a certain level of obviously consental commitment, meaning they both have consented to say we're gonna commit like this. I think change is okay, but the only problem is usually it never happens at the same time. Mm. That's One person fact. loving or committing sooner than the other person. But um, I think that's, I mean, that's the key. Once that commitment is established and it looks like, hey, we're going to now commit to exploring the future together, then change is cool. But right. I just, I, I've seen it happen the other way is what I hate. People say, oh, man, a, you know what I mean? I'm just not happy no more, you know, so she don't make me happy no more. And he, uh, he don't make me, you know, happy and she don't make me happy right. no more. And I'm saying, hey, you got married. You got committed because you want to make somebody happy. Now... You you that want ain't, that ain't always true though. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, well that ain't true. <laughs> yeah, I, I get married. I'm in love because man, I really want to spend my life with you. I spend my life trying to make you smile. And you know, I hear women say, "Oh my God, he just always makes you smile. He just loves me." Just you know, the yeah, man, somebody you know, man, she understands me. You know, man, she love you. Know, since so you always ride with me, you know, like and so you 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 say I married this person because I can't live without them. I'm asking her to marry me because of this. Or the woman says, yes, I accept. I don't want to be with nobody but you. I just want to love you. Let me cater to you. And then all of a sudden, is he not doing this for me? Yeah. But I mean, I ain't even. I, I mean, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Like when I'm at when I was at the altar, I wasn't thinking it's because I want to work the rest of my life to see you smile. I, I love my Ooh. wife. 
But I, I, I mean, to be honest, yeah. In my mind, and yeah, you know, I mean, she might, you know, come, come check the replay and be like, oh, really? But really? I mean, I mean, like, you know, what I'm saying, but I, you know, what I was, yeah, really yeah. Them, nah, yeah. Let me slow them, break it down, baby girl. I'm saying to myself, well, hey, we both make each other happy. I would like this for the rest of my life, but I'm not <laughs> thinking of myself like that's I'm one side. I just, I just, every time I do something that makes you smile, that's that gives me joy. <laughs> so, well, so when I did this, and yeah, you know, what I mean, yeah. I gave you that. Nah, I'm just like, hey, listen, this, this working. And we both seem to be having a better quality of life due to each other being each other life. Yeah. So, yeah. but but I but here's my thing though that like what you mentioned I think is all, all about timing, right. and and you know just to, like I say make it make it quick short and the timing thing is really what I I, I see. Now that's is tough. The that's, issue. that's the issue. Because How long do I wait till I change? Right. If I change too soon. How long it is before I give him a key? How long it is before I start saying I answer his phone calls? I, I put a demand on him. Or how long does a man do it? When he's like, I'm supposed to hear from you. How long? I mean, you done got up this morning, went about your day, you ain't called me yet. Like, mm -hmm. right, you right. gotta change that. You're in a relationship now. You know, how long it take for you to start saying, Hey, listen, he or not. Um, I'm blocking DMs or whatever. I don't know, like you're right. That, that, that's that's a, that's all the tough question. And the real problem is the reason why people should watch this show is because nobody talks about how long it takes to change. What happens is you get relationships and people break up. Why? Because I thought you was gonna change by now. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought this was gonna be this by now. Right. And you that's know nobody talk about it. Nobody talk about it. Man, that's so good. Cause I mean, that that's the whole thing. Nobody want to change if the other person ain't making those adjustments too. It's that whole you say I love you, then I say I love you too. Right. You do this, I do it back. You Sometimes you I mean? be like, yeah, I love you. you be like, or be like, like, I ain't nobody tell you to do that. Why you said that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you mess around and made a move. I hate to say it, but you don't made a move sexually. Mm -hmm. He was like, hey, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I gotta do the two. I, you, hey, I, what I gonna do? Right. Well, I mean, if I'd have turned you down, you'd have been mad. This, yeah. this, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. why this ain't good I can't enough. tell you how many times I heard people say, "Man, I never told you that we was in a relationship. I never said that I was gonna commit. I never said that I was gonna not go back by baby. Like, like." And it's like, but we did this. We never discussed that I was supposed to change. I ain't know you wanted me to change. Right. Now, he go to beef with me now because, I mean, we as men, we get we we get labeled so bad when it comes to this. But at the same time, when I, when I okay, when I went back, when I went to the uh, comments of the post, and I remember the post was talking about, uh, man, if a man refuses to change, he weak, he abusive, not a man, he toxic. If a woman decides not to change for a man, she's she a strong should, woman. Right. But, but to me, when I'm looking at the comment, like, most of the dudes like, hey, it is what it is. I am who I am. So you know, and I, I was expecting to hear more of that right. from women, but it seemed like nowadays, man, we 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 I'm more like, you. man, I'm I'm good. Cause I mean, and, what, and whatever too, it is, cause not a man got too many options. Yeah, he just listen. A man ain't got a stretch. There was a time when, when I first time in relationship and got bothered, got hurt. Guess what I started doing, man. I'm just stress man, sitting around the house, watching TV. Man, a man can pick up his phone and get his joy back, man. Yeah. Like this, man. Man, 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 man can be like, man, I'm just tripping, man. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, I mean, in five minutes, he be like, okay, let me show you in a minute. Let me. Like, I'm trying to get his joy back. Right. Man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Man, me ain't stressing, <laughs> laying around, losing weight no more. But is that, do you think that that's, the, that's more of the problem? Because here's the thing. Yeah. You got no women saying that, no hey, question listen. No question I mean, I mean, every day, no Pastor Dozier. You 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 probably more than me have have you know people that will cross you know cross your phone lines. Hey, this is what I'm going through. What I'm going through, right? But for the most part, it's like if I can just get a little bit, I, I'm changing for this little bit. That'd be yeah. some of the beef. I'm, I'm yeah. I, you know, when we talk about past episodes, yeah. where it's like like you say that change happened so quick because it'd be like man, if I could just get a little, it's like a sample at the mall. If I can just man, get true a little, story, true story. Like, young, lady I, young, young lady in our ministry. Um, um, She's kind of involved in ministry. She sings and stuff, and um, and she says, "Am I a slut, Pastor? If I turn to the side a little bit on my pictures, because like what she's really saying is this: If I turn to the side, I'm gonna get a little more play, right? A little bit more attention, more more response. Like if I if I let them, you know, and, and I mean like, and so of course I'm saying, no, no, no. Now, what, what do I say now? Watch this now. I know you're doing this with the intent to what." Show your body, mm -hmm. so a man gonna move off your booty, not your intellect, not your spirit, and you okay with this? But I mean, like, we here's my point. Here's my point. Uh, my point is, hey, she's saying I'll get some play if I change, right? And I'm like, you know, I ain't no woman, but I am a guy, mm -hmm. and so you look plain Jane, like you look like, oh, she's okay. 
Yeah. You, I would be lying to you. Right. I, I mean, I, you can't you, just keep it a thousand. This is my point. So I'm is. saying, she ain't even in a relationship, and she feeling like she got to change. Mm. To get a bite. But I mean, yeah. Now, man. somebody else tell her, don't do that. You, you stand right there high, and you hold your cross up higher. <laughs> right? You let him, no, you you share this post and tell him go to the service and hear Pastor preaching. And she saying, man, listen, I don't mind doing all that, sharing my ministry. But I'm just saying I might need a little picture to the side. Yeah, I need to do yeah, share her ministry. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and, so, and she's asking really like, hey, am I slept? Because she's she's bombarded with what people say too. Hey, does this mean I'm settling? Mm -hmm. I'm not a strong woman anymore. It's so cold, it's but, that, crazy but, that, but, but but like I said, when you when we talk about topics, we don't really know. Val Tamika, y'all got pictures to the side. I just want to know, y'all yeah. got side pictures. Yeah. I just want to know, nah. You know, little, 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 you know, they talk you about know. angles. So it's like, well, you can still yeah. eighty percent yeah. of the pictures my face. Yeah, and then you and just then it just so happen to you know catch a little back end. I hope y'all ain't got no look back at us. Man, 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 man. <laughs> I ain't trying to put nobody on the <laughs> but sometimes I be like. Oh, <laughs> oh then, okay, okay, sister, 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 you know, and then it'd be like, okay, but but I understand, cause like you say, nine days, you gotta change, man. You gotta do something, man. And then the thing is, my 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 beef though at the end of it is like it's like you you y'all ain't gonna never hear the, the discussion like this talked about like the, how we talk about it. But right. at the same time, when I'm saying to myself. The goal is to actually find somebody, make it work, move on to the to to you know progressing stage of the relationship, and marriage, and, and everything and beyond, and knowing that because it's we that, got so many that, options that, as a man, it's like how, it's how, it. what you yeah. what I'm supposed to tell because yeah. again, yeah. most of the people who gonna invest in relationship development and and, and, and investing in themselves is women, yeah, right. So when it comes to that stuff, but, but but what you're saying makes so much sense. Here's a question. What makes a person worthy of that? What makes a person what makes a person you took that right valuable off enough to say I should change for them? You took that right now. Number three, what makes a person worthy of making changes in life decisions? That's what I'm saying. Because it comes down to saying, I don't mind doing this if I got some future in it. Right, right. But to me, in a situation I'm talking about late in our ministry, she doing it just for some bite. And to me, you start showing that picture like this, you start tooting, he don't care nothing about Jesus now. You, I, I, want, I want exactly what oh, you man, showed me. He, he might care about Jesus. He might. He the might. other two might have called it a little age because here go the thing. Like you said, you know, if I mean, it's and, and then here go the thing. In ministry, bro, it's, it's such a, a so thin delicate, line. So delicate. Because everybody feel like, well, you're doing too much. Right. And, right. Oh, oh, you, and, and, or, and, or what you said, the whole, how could you? And, you know, you not a man doing it. He need to step up, be the provider, be the pro, be the priest of the house, be the right. But the woman's like, come on, don't sell them, don't, don't, don't. And all alone, the man said, man, you know, no, like, all alone, it be, it be some, you know. Because yeah. I mean, I, I was watching this topic the other day. They were saying, hey, man, if a single man, uh, a handsome guy, single in church, it's like, man, he look, look, he like a kid in a candy store. He get to choose. Like, I want the, I want the big teddy bear. Now, turn around. Now, I don't want that one. Yeah. Uh, let me, because yeah. I mean. When you have this thin line and everybody trying to trying to be a certain type of way, fit the mold, but at the same time, it's like, bro, I'm still, I'm passing what you want me to do. I'm single, and then you you yeah. married. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, everybody yeah. married. This person married that. So I, 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 I listen. It's a thin line between but, 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 righteousness, but, but, righteousness, right, and righteousness. Right, because the value still matter. Is this person valuable enough for me to do? Is this person worthy enough for me to make those change? Because the person ain't, then you got to make that clear that hey, man, you don't want to start doing this. Like I had a lady, young lady, they 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 was engaged to get married, and it's like, past some time I'm done to that, you know, is it okay me, you know what I'm saying? You know, we send each other little pictures, I don't wanna feel like no whole no slut. And I was like, well, you gonna marry this person. Cause this this picture go out into picture land. Mm hmm And you know, some men be like, I'm gonna show this old little thing right Yeah, yeah. And if it don't work out, I don't Yeah, so I'm saying because of that, you gotta make sure this person worthy before you start Right. Taking pictures. And that'd be the same thing on both sides. This is why, you know, I I, I asked. No pictures out here for y'all. Some of y'all. <laughs> I seen, I seen Tamika say, no, nah, I'm good. I ain't hear nothing from Val about that picture. Man, listen, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cold game out here. But my, like I said, the beef is trying to figure out the timing. Because, again, is this person worthy enough? Have you given enough time to really assess who they truly are? At the same time, uh, uh, for your own benefit, is it 
you giving yourself enough time. Sometimes I think we, we just like, like you said, it's like, it's like a sample at the mall. Once I get a little taste, that right there is enough for me to get going. As long as I just keep <laughs> this, I'm good. Right. And so I think from if you won't take nothing from this episode of, of, of male translation, we talk about should you change for a relationship, the, the question is, should be asking yourself, how long should I wait? How is this person worthy enough? Is this person worthy me to do it? Uh, uh, and, 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 and that's different for everybody. Did I give myself enough time to, to really know that, hey, I'm comfortable acting right. this Or way. am I out here chasing? For sure. Cause that's that, that's Cause that's you can chase it and a man to take them pictures and take whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. and you still lose. Now that's the tough part. I changed. I did this. I did do this. I bit my tongue. I didn't do this and I didn't say nothing. I changed. I changed. I changed, and I still lost. And that's what I get the most of. I get people that says, um, "This guy cheated, and I did do this, mm -hmm. and I did get him says, and I did, and I did, and I did." And you know, like I'm doing you said, right now. The options, the options, cause and again, you know, what what Chris Rock said: a man only faithful has his options. Now. I, I want to say, man, that that's not completely true. But it's so true, man. That's so, so true. how do you, what do do you can't take all the options off the table? How do you what what's the solution to the fact that you want a person to change? We talked. I even talked about the topic of uh, ready to make ready made versus yeah, ready to mold. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think the only way you get around it, you have to ask yourself this question. Don't ask somebody to do something that you ain't willing to do first. Like don't 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 ask somebody to be willing to change this in their life and you ain't willing to do the same thing. Right. Don't don't even bring up change if you're not willing to have the same level of change. And I know that sounds a little double standard, but I hate that when a woman can say, Well, I want a man to be this, 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 and this, and this, and he need to change like this for me. Don't ask somebody else to be willing to change if you're not willing to do the same things with him. If he say, Hey, I think you ought to be willing to do this, do this, respect me, da 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 because those things may be just as valuable. And if he thinks you're worthy enough to change, then you should be in return worthy enough. It changed with him, but that's I just agree. I agree 100%. You know. We're gonna lock that up right there just because, like I said, most of the time when I hear certain stuff, the main question I'm asking myself is you gonna is, is it gonna be the same way when it comes your direction? It's gonna be the same way when it comes your way. Like, man, Dad, make sure you ask them this hey, do you got a job? How long have you worked at your job? How much money you make at your job? Okay, do you got this? Let me see what you look like. Man, man. I'll be like, huh? Yeah. Now, most of the time, it's like people want to be in the driver's seat, but yeah, you got to make sure that 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 uh, um, you know you're willing to, to receive just as much as you're giving all yeah, on all yeah, the court. Yeah. So yeah. we are gonna wrap that up right there, man. We started a little bit late, wish to be able to give y'all a little bit more, but appreciate y'all locking in on what I want y'all to do. If you're on Facebook, make sure you share this post. Should you change for a relationship? This is one of the things, like I said, this both top, men this, and women. This, this is a good question, especially when you get older. You get more set in your way, and you're like change. Uh. And this is where the beef happened where it's like, you, you, I'm talking to certain people and it's like, man, I want this, I want that, but I'm not willing to change for it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, you go, then you fight the whole new, like this new fashion versus old fashion. I'm an old fashioned girl. I do this. Old fashioned don't mean that you still can't have old fashioned values. Core. Me as a pastor, I think I'm still old fashioned. I still stuck. I sang. I do a lot of old stuff that I heard old pastors do. But I knew. Even today, even what I'm doing now, that's all I tell y'all all the time. Without Clarence, I won't be online. Won't be no place TV. But it was like you can be all of that when when they somebody committed, mm -hmm. but you ain't got no bite. <laughs> right. They ain't even looking at you. Right. And I was like, I gotta get on this internet. I gotta get around this camera because nobody cares how great you is when I don't know. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm just finna just pop up, people ain't doing no more. They checking you out. Now, never forget, class told me this. A lot of people say, hey, listen, man, how you a good preacher? Are you a good woman? And you ain't got no pictures. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, so, should you change relationship? I'm going to say you should change for the opportunity of relationship. Because you may not even get the opportunity. Right, right. So, I think there's a lot of layers to it. And, and do you value a relationship enough to start... Posting. I'm not telling ladies to go around and start posting pictures. I see Jeff right now say, man, I can promise you, Deacon that short, do not take no side, no side <laughs> pictures. You know what I'm saying? Man, but sure. that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, but um, a lot of that, man, you know, so you change relationship. I know people in relationship, they in relationship say, we should take more pictures. And I said, come on, I thought about our love. But now he's got to change, or they got to change for the world. Mm, fact, so it's fact. all kind of issues. Like, I'm just saying that I'm learning. We talked about it before the show started. You'll never know. What some of those changes could bring in your future in your future. On the flip side, you'll never know some of those lacks of changes. What what those could be closed because you never made those changes. That's a fact. Uh, so, peace.